What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do the second video in a kind of beginner solar panel series. Uh, I got two really good questions from uh, watch uh, from subscribers uh, to my channel yesterday and so I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions and use that as kind of uh, an opportunity to explain a few more things. Uh, here we have, um, if you ignore this thing for a second, we have basically exactly the same um, off-grid setup as we had yesterday minus the load. We've got the solar panel here, we've got our charge controller here, and we've got our battery here. Now the third set of wires going out here goes to the load. Um, and in this case, the question I got um, last night, the first question was, what do you, how do you do it if you have more than one load? So the answer to that question is you use something to divide the load and in this case I have a load center. This is a uh, typical household type load center. Um, let me see if I can show you. Um, it just looks like um, a breaker box is what a lot of people call it. Um, but it, it basically is used to divide the power and distribute the power. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. So the power that comes in through the top there and those red and black wires, again, red being positive, black being negative. The black goes over to a little bus bar, negative bus bar. The red goes into a breaker. And the breaker acts essentially as a switch, so you can flip on and off the, the load, which is kind of nice for safety purposes. And then um, underneath the breaker is the the power wire that comes out and then off of the negative bus bar you've got negative leads that come out to go to the load. Remember you always have to have a positive and a negative a uh, red and a black in a direct current DC system. Okay so let's hook up some loads. Hopefully we can see all this here. Okay so as with yesterday we're going to use our 12 volt fan as one of the loads. And I've got this all pre-wired. Um, I'll have to do another video to kind of, you know, if you guys want to know how to wire this thing up. Um, it's going to be a little bit more involved than I can do in this video. Okay, so we've got this load and if we flip that breaker that it's connected to we have power. Um, what I'm going to use for a second load is actually an inverter and this I'm going to be using this to answer a different question later. So let's hook up this other load. You want to make sure that these don't touch here. This is just kind of a test setup so normally you wouldn't have like exposed wires like this. And then I'm going to use just a simple um, cell phone charger as the load. Let's turn this thing on. So we got lights, it's on. Turn on the fan. And we're powering a cell phone and we're powering um, the fan. So, let's see if we can see this a little bit better. Sorry. Um, once again, we have a power source, solar panel, comes into the charge controller. The charge controller manages the power and either sends it to the battery to charge the battery or sends it on to the load. This is a load center, which basically means it's distributing the load to multiple loads. So, we have Zoom back in here. We have a double pole breaker so that we have two different loads on the same breaker. One going to the fan, one going to charging the cell phone through this inverter. So the second question was, what happens, can you, can you do both uh, off-grid and grid-tied or inverted, uh, inverted power in the same system? Now obviously we've just kind of answered that question. We have both in the same system. 
Um, it's it's obviously much more expensive to do it this way because you've got to buy a charge controller, you've got to buy batteries. Um, it's more complicated. Batteries are extremely expensive, um, especially to get any meaningful amount of storage. And uh, and you're also going to lose efficiency through the charge controller. So um, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could send the power. Um, you could. Sp um, send the power through the charge controller as we have here and on downstream into the inverter however you're gonna even the best uh, charge controllers are only 85 90 percent efficient so you're gonna lose some power there and not all of the power from the panel is gonna make it all the way over here to the inverter um, another option would be to go from the solar panel through kind of a switch like you could do an on off situation the switch that could divert power either to do either or so you could be sending power to the inverter or to the grid um, when you don't need it uh, when your batteries aren't charging or you know flip a switch and it can go to the charge controller and to your batteries and and so forth um, there's probably more ways you could do that I, I'm trying to keep this basic and beginner but um, this hopefully this illustrates how you can do both in the same setup and also illustrates how you can have multiple loads in the same system. Now one other thing that I want to mention with these load centers is that you need to make sure that they're rated for DC power. Um, this one in particular actually is not. I just use it for testing purposes. It's a home line um, uh, series and it is not rated for DC power. I've used them for years and they don't have I haven't had any problems with them but I would not recommend that you buy those for DC power. There's a separate series that you can look at the manufacturer specs and make sure that they're rated for DC power. Usually they'll be rated for 48 volts DC and those are safe to use you know anytime in a DC situation. Just to give you a new heads up. Alright hopefully this answers your questions and thanks for watching.